All right. I had to redo that. I started off wonky. Welcome back, everyone. This is part three of my um, coloring supplies. I almost said haul. <laughs> no, this is part three of my coloring supplies, all of my coloring supplies. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it since I've already done two parts to this. Now, I pulled some stuff, not everything, but I pulled some stuff off my shelves and out of my drawers so that I could just go ahead and pop stuff up here and show you. Um, but this is something that I had sitting down in my drawer. It's one of those little office things. And I get these cups from the Dollar, um, the dollar Tree and the Dollar Stores to uh, put water in for painting and like stuff like that. So that's why it's got some dried paint in there. And I keep just all my random brushes in here. Um, nothing special about any of these brushes. Um... These little tiny ones right here, I think, yeah, I think these are the only two. Um, these two little tiny ones that I have right here came in a um, little pack from Hobby Lobby that I got on sale. And these are a size zero, very small. I don't know anything about this brand or even if what that really says because it's so dang small. Um, Raphael, maybe, Precision. Um, but yeah, those are two that are really, really tiny. I got for tiny little details if I wanted to paint anything in any of my books. Um, but then there's like the Walmart ones. And then these ones right here, I think I just got from Ross again. I get a lot of my stuff from Ross. So that's one thing that I use to, when I want to paint in my coloring books and, or any paint in general, those are always there as well. Um, now this is... Uh, I don't know where the top to this went. Um, I took it off, I guess, and stuck it in my drawer. Because I, I thought I was going to use these, and I haven't actually used them yet. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> um, I have not actually used these yet, but this is a King Art set of acrylic paint that I got um, to paint with in my coloring books as well as on canvases because I do like to paint as well. Um... So yeah, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't have the lid, but this is just a set of King Art acrylic paint that I got from Ross. So that's in my drawer as well. Um, so next thing I, sh I guess I'll show you since I was on paint is I'll just get right into, um, so I just got this literally today. Um, I ran to Ross again cause my daughter wanted to paint. Um, and there were some things that I needed and some colors that I needed for something that I wanted to paint. Um, and this was like $6 or something like that from Ross, $5.99. Um, but it's got this nice little top thing and I just stuck all things painting. These are my painting sponges. I am going to put some of my brushes probably in here, um, rather than in the cup. But, so, this basically just has all my cheap paints. Um, you know the ones that we use in our coloring books for backgrounds and such. These are the two that I got today. These are the Mondo Llama acrylic paints. Um, and I'm doing like a Nightmare Before Christmas painting on a canvas. And I wanted like a gradient purple background. So I went and got these today. Um, which I will probably show that painting um, in my next Finished Pages video. So if you want to see that. Um, and then I have one of the Glitterifics. Now this is the... There I go again, out of breath. Um, what is, I'm looking for the name. Oh, Black Opal. This is um, Glitterific Black Opal. And I did originally get this for slime. I know I, I might have said that in the last video. We tried to make slime one time with my daughter because she loves slime. So we got some Glitterific acrylic paint added to it. It didn't turn out too good, but um, it was fun anyhow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just had to drink some baking soda water because I have bad heartburn, so I'm so sorry if I burp. Um, so this is a Folk Art Fluorescent Glow. So this is like a orange glow-in-the-dark. And I don't remember what we used this for. I think we got this for um, slime as well when we were making slime. We wanted to do a glow-in-the-dark one. Um, but these are just like apple barrel, I think, for the most part. And then this is the Folk Art metallic which we also got for <laughs> um when we were making slime 
Um, but these like metallic ones are really pretty for backgrounds and stuff, which I have not done yet, but I'm planning on it. You probably won't be able to see no kind of shine from that. Um, but yeah, these are all at Walmart. And so I think the rest of them are just apple barrel pretty much. I just go and I grab colors in case I want to use one in my coloring books or just to have because my daughter likes to paint. I like to paint. Um, this is another thing that I have. This is just Walmart brand, a big old thing of black paint because black is the one thing that I use in my coloring books a lot to do backgrounds and things. So, um, yeah, that is that. And before I show you the next thing, I will say real quick, I did just place an Amazon order um, for, for the Arteza 60 set of acrylic paint tubes because they are on, on a deal of the day. Um, just for the day, they were, they were on sale for $25 for the whole 60 set. So I definitely bought that as soon as I saw it. Um, that should be here Wednesday. So I'm super excited about that. But yes, that is all of my, I'm uh, pretty sure that's all of my paint for now anyways, until I get the Arteza. And if you want to see a video of me like unboxing that and, and like, Maybe swatching some of the colors or something. Because they, they do have some, in the 60 set, there is some metallics. So I'm excited about that. Um, so another thing that I keep for coloring is this Krylon Workable Fixative. Um, so this says protects pencils, pastel, and chalk drawings. Prevents smudging and wrinkling. Allows easy rework. Acid-free, archival, safe. So, um, this I basically spray after every single page that I color because, um, just when you close them and you're done coloring them, and usually I use very creamy, soft colored pencils to color with. Sometimes I do chalk pastels for backgrounds and things like that. Um, and I just really don't want any kind of transfer or anything like that. So, I always just spray this so that when it gets closed and put back on the shelf, and they're all squeezed together really close and there's pressure on them um, that there won't be no kind of crazy transfer. So that is that. Um, show you some other things. I keep these up here. I think I already showed you guys my soft pastels and I forgot to show these because they were in the drawer. But this is like cotton rounds that I keep in uh, up here in my drawer as well um, for the purpose of blending the um, soft pastels out. So those are just Walmart Equate Beauty cotton rounds. Those work to, um, blend pastels out. Um, and then I have this Simply Low Odor Thinner for oil, for oil colors. Now, I know that this says, uh, for oil colors, but I got this from Walmart actually to blend colored pencils. My, um, basically any any colored pencil it will blend I've used it with basically all of my colored pencils and it uh, does really good job at uh, breaking down the uh, uh, base of the pencil whether it's wax or oil or whatever and um, blending the pigments out so yeah that's what I use to blend now this is the only one that I've tried I do want to get some other ones just to compare so um, I haven't done that yet though um, next thing I'll show you is this is just a random thing of odds and ends and I will scoop this over here um, that I keep in my drawer just with random stuff so this is something that I actually got today too and this was for painting purposes but you also could use these for like your Tombos to like scribble on because these are very thin plastic smooth um, so you could scribble your Tombos or even your Neo Color 2s or any kind of water medium you could scribble on here and then pick it up with your water brush so um, this was a five pack for $3.99 at Ross. <laughs> Again, love Ross. Um, so that is that. And then I do have these. I don't know why I got these, to be honest. I think maybe for coloring book purposes. Um, but yeah, those are just calculator stickers. I don't even know why I got those, to be honest. Um, and then this, I got this off of Amazon and I thought it had a I thought it had a smaller one I don't remember how many came in the pack to be honest but this is all that is in here as of right now um, and these are Rockwell I did get these off of Amazon so I can link that below um, and I basically just got these for doing 
circle backgrounds, drawing perfect circles, bubbles, um, bokeh effects, uh, whatever you want to use them for. It's just a, a circle stencil that I thought would be nice to have. Whew, let me breathe. I know I've been saying that a lot lately. Um, and then also in here, I have a few odds and ends of brush sets that I've just been buying a lot of brushes lately, like paint brushes. Um, because I've been wanting to do a lot more painting on canvases and stuff. But this also came from Ross. And this is a King Art set of paint brushes that was probably anywhere from 6 to $8 from Ross. Um, and I have used them already. And they worked really well. They did the job. They did the trick. Um, and they come in this really nice case. Um, so yeah, those are the King Art ones that I have. And then I did also purchase the, I know some of you may know about the new Target brand. Um, Mondo Llama. Uh, it's like the, the new art supply um line at target that's like on the cheaper end so i think these were like five dollars so i grabbed them just to try them as well um because like i said i've been buying a lot of brushes for painting purposes um this is another little tiny palette that i got for my daughter um when she wants to do acrylic paints but most of the time she just does watercolors and her little crayola watercolor sets um this is something that i don't have the box here for this is uh, actually came in the big old box of, let me go ahead and get it while I'm showing you. One second, guys. Um, okay. Um, just had to grab a few more things. So I'll just show this while I'm at it. This was the last time my daughter did acrylic paint. We haven't cleaned it out yet. <laughs> um, this is the 120 set of Crayola crayons. Now I have these because I love them. I've actually done a tutorial on my channel um, that if I can figure out how to link in the video, I will try to do that or in the description, in the description box below or some way. Um, I used these to do a background in one of my pictures and um, blended it out with this that I just showed you guys. Um, but I basically have these because I love them. They're nostalgic. They smell amazing. I know, like, y'all are thinking I'm crazy, but crayons, <laughs> you know, the, the crayon smell. They make you instantly make you feel like a kid again. But, um, anyways, this sat in the middle just like that. This is basically just a crayon sharpener, so, yeah. I also have used this, actually, to sharpen my Neo Color 2s as well because, and I mean, it is a crayon sharpener, so. That is that. Um... Another thing that I have, let's see, in this box that I will show you, I guess I'll just show you these, um, since we were on a Crayola, um, for a second there. So, this is the 100 set of Crayola colored pencils. Now, I don't know if anyone knows this, but this is not 100 different colors. This is the 100 pack of Crayola that has doubles of a lot of the colors. And I went through and I counted when I did the swatch sheet, but it also says right there, See, I missed that when I did the swatch sheet. It's 60 different colors. Um, and then there's a there's doubles of only a couple of them. But I absolutely love Crayola colored pencils. I'm probably fixing to get ready to um, try these on a Create Space. Uh, what you call it? On Amazon printed paper coloring book. Or just because I want to see with just these Crayola colored pencils with the harder lead. Um if they do any better on the Amazon paper than like the soft pencils. So I'm definitely gonna try that. Um, next thing, um, let's see. I know none of this is in any particular order. I'm sorry, I'm just grabbing whatever is nearby that I have not showed you guys yet already. And I think we're just about done. Um, but this is the Kiritaki Starry Colors um, watercolor paints and uh, I, I'm aware that they have what, they have like a three pack on Amazon and, um, this is the, I bought this one. I can't ever get this thing open. Here, let's try the other side. Um, I, instead of buying the three pack, just bought this single tray of the golds, um, because I wanted to try these paints and I actually use them a lot. 
So this one right here, the number 902, let's check that and make sure it's right. No, that's 906. Try again. Um, this 906 right here is like a really pretty shimmery white, almost like a, like a see-through. It just kind of gives like a sheen. These are not very opaque, um, I think is what I'm trying to say. But I use this to go over snow when I do snow in pictures, just to give the snow a, that kind of like glisten look. Um, and it works really well, but yeah, these are nice. They're on Amazon. I'll link those below as well. Um, and I am probably going to get the other two that I don't have, which I think is like a gem, gem tones and then something else. Um, and this one is the starry colors. So that is that. Next thing I guess I will show you is these. I have the 24 set of Koei Noor. These are the Koei Noor, yeah, Koei Noor Hardmuth Woodless Color Pencils. Now, I don't know how I feel about these. I, I have started a page um, with these in my Hannah Carlson, one of my Hannah Carlson books. Um, and I'm almost finished with it, so I need to just pull it out and just bear it and just finish it. Because for some reason, maybe it's, I don't know... I mean, they color good, um, but I think it's something about the texture or the feel of them. Maybe something about them kind of makes my skin crawl to where I've been thinking about maybe just rehoming these. But um, I also thought maybe it's just my pregnancy hormones being weird. So maybe I'll just keep them for a little bit longer and see if I get over it. But anyways, these are, um, if you don't know... These are woodless, like it says, and they're super, super thick. Um, I don't even know how thick exactly, but they're like huge. And they have the color name, Light Vermilion. Um, they say check. There's some number system thing they got going on. There's a barcode because these are probably available to get open stock as well. Um, and they're, they're basically just pigment, so... Those are those. I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. <clears throat> Next thing is these Stadler 48 colored pencils. Now, I've had these for a really, really long time. I showed them in my original coloring supplies haul that I did. Um, saying that these were a gift from um, family members for Mother's Day. Um, which was really sweet. I, I like, like, it's really nice to always get some kind of art gift, which is what my family members have been doing a lot lately is getting me art related things, which I'm fine with. Um, but I have not played with these enough to really say anything about them. As you can see, I've used a few of the pink ones. I don't even remember what it was I used them on, but I definitely, before saying anything else about these, um, I want to color with them a little bit more. Now, I will show you real quick. They are triangular, just like it says on the box. Um, but they don't have any color name or number. Because I think they all have the same number on them. Yeah, they all have this F6-1270 um, printed on them. So, they have no way to distinguish one from the other. Um... So again, don't really want to say much without using those a little bit more. But I do have those as well. Um, let's see. Next. Um, now this is the 24 set of Pentel Arts colored pencils. Um, and these were my husband's a long, long, long time ago that we discovered was in an old bag of his when he used to doodle and draw and color and stuff like that when he was like a teenager or something. Um, but he said I could have them when I found them. Um, and I actually did just use these to do pencil details over, like, a marker background, which I will show hopefully at the beginning of the year in my finished pages, um, video. Um, but yeah, these do actually, I actually kind of like these. I believe they're oil-based, and they have color numbers on the end, so you can tell them apart. Um... And I know this is only a 24-pack, but I kind of like them. And I did just, you know, 
have somewhat fun experience coloring with them. It, I was coloring with them on Amazon paper, so that was the thing. But, um, yeah, Pentel Arts 24-pack colored pencils. I have those as well. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to show you is I have these, and I know my desk is getting full, but I'm fixing to put everything back in here and um, clear my desk to show you what is left. So, um, these are the Ergo Soft 24 set of watercolor pencils. Now, some of these are out because I'm using them right now at the moment. And I will actually show you because I have a page right here. Um, I actually found these at Ross for $7.99, I think, or $8.99. Um, again, which is why I love Ross. Um, I've, I've never had any of the, other than the Stadler colored pencils that I have, I've never had any of the Ergo Soft line of Stadler. Um, and I've always wanted to try some. And these are actually really nice. Like, they come in this really cool case that sits up like this. So, yeah. That's really cool. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but these are the water-soluble ones. The, the aqua, aqua, again, with the word. I can't ever say the word. Um, and these, I don't think have a color number. No. Yes. They actually do have numbers on them. But they also leave, like, this blank name spot right here for you to, I guess, name the pencil, whatever you want to name it. Um, but they also are dipped on the ends, as you can see, with different colors. Um, so that's an easy way to just tell what color they are, really. Um, and right now, I have started doing this with them. And so far, I've only blended this out. And then I did a little bit more here. A little bit more here. I have to finish and blend out. And, of course, this is going to take a while. But I'm just um, basically enjoying taking my time on that. Uh, and I absolutely love these. So that was a really cool find. Um if I can find this on Amazon, I'll try to link it below, or maybe if I, I can find it on Blick or somewhere, um, I'll try to link those, because those are really nice. I like those. Um, and last thing in here, before I put all of this stuff up, um, so this is my only Black Widow pencils. Now, I just got these, and I'm going to give you a little tiny backstory on these. Now, this is the 24 set of Black Widow wax colored pencils. Um, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of you guys know about these and a lot of you guys on YouTube here, um, have these. Um, but this is my second set of these pencils because the first set that I got had a, and the reason why I can't show them is because I gave them to a friend. Um, since this was a duplicated set, I gave them to her just to try out, um, but I think it was this one, Fang Green, in the original set that I had. And let's see. It was this one, Zypher Blue and Fang Green. Um, so basically, Fang Green had gotten, I guess, misprinted or something. I don't know. The Zypher Blue, which I don't think I have a piece of paper up here to swatch. Let me see. No. Uh, let me grab a piece of paper or a, a sticky note of some sort. Um, sorry for slamming that. So what had happened was the first set that I got of these pencils, the um the Zypher Blue, this one right here, which is this really pretty blue color. Um, the one that said Fang Green, which now has been corrected with this set, but it was swatching the same exact color as the Zypher Blue. So, somehow it got um, misprinted Fang Green, and there, and there was two Zypher Blues put in this, um, in, the, in the original one that I got. But I had went to um, the owner of the company's Facebook page, and he was so, so kind as to... Um, when I told him what had happened and what was wrong, and he asked me to send him proof of purchase, obviously, um, and so I sent him my my, per my order number from Amazon, um, and he s had Amazon send me another set for free, um, which was really, really nice. Um, so that was really cool. 
whew, getting out of breath. Um, and I did actually, with my Arteza paints that I just purchased, I purchased the second set of these, the, um, the Scorpion ones. So super excited about that because I love those pencils so much. They're super creamy and bright and vibrant. Um, so I don't know if I should show this in my supplies or books, but it's here. So I guess I'll show you guys. Um, so this is basically what I used at first originally to just hold color swatches as well as random things. Um, but as I said in my last video, I'm going to start going to those little tiny swatch things that I have. Um, so this was just the Neo color swatches, Arteza swatches. Prismacolor swatches. No, this was all the first original ones that I ever did. More Neo Color 2 swatches. A random practice sheet that I got that I um, have not finished. Um, let's see. And then some more practice, which is awful. Don't look at that. Um, so that's basically, uh, I mean, a, a part of my supplies because it's where I keep some of my swatches and things. Um, but that is it for that let me quickly put all of this stuff back um and then i will grab the next thing to show you guys this will only take me one second bear with me guys bear with me try not to make this a, a million things long but um the last few things I'm going to show you is basically just um, sketchbooks and different types of papers that I have and note and um, uh, like paper pads and things that I have found that I got to, uh, I don't know, draw, paint, color, print PDFs on, um, anything of the sort like that. Um, so I'll just show you and then we should be done. Um, this actually was at Ross again also. Um, and this is, let's see, it says Darice Premium Cardstock, um, 65 pound, 20 sheet, smooth texture. Um, don't ask me why I got this, probably because it was $1.99. Um, so for, I don't know, because this obviously won't fit in the printer, I would have to cut it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I would use this for, but I have it, so I'm sure I'll figure something out. Um, let's see. I don't really need to show you this because this is a super old sketchbook of mine um, that I've had forever in a day. I don't even know if they still sell this one, but this is one that I have. And I don't really rip this out to print PDFs on because it's old and almost all the pages are done. But I do have that one. And then this one was... It is not very, very new, but it's not super, super old either. This is a Derwent Academy sketchbook, um, 11 by eight and a half. These are perforated. Um, so I think I could tear these out and print PDFs on them. So, I mean, yeah, heavyweight paper sketchbook. Um, I don't even think I've used a whole lot in here. There's some scribbles some testing some stuff that's also a reason why i have a lot of these books is for testing things with you guys and also for myself just to have sketchbooks and different papers to test and play around with different mediums on which is why i have this as well this was on clearance at um and if you haven't seen a theme with me i do always try to shop deals and clearance and things like that it's just my favorite way to shop can always get more for your money um so this was at let's see not ross not tg maxx um office deep office depot what's that office store is it called office depot i don't know one of the office stores that we have i go in there occasionally and check their clearance because um sometimes it's really really stocked but this is a super thin marker paper like like you can see through it super super thin um 13.5 pound, 22 GSM, um, whatever this brand is. Like I said, it was just on clearance. I think for, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, it was on clearance for like $3 or something like that. So anytime I see any kind of paper on sale or clearance like that, I always snag it. Um, 
I do want to see how markers perform on this. I'm really interested to see how they do on such thin paper. So that's that. And then I did get um, two Strathmore watercolor and tracing um, pads from Michaels. They were having a buy one, get one half off, I think is what it was. Um, so I got some more watercolor paper because uh, this, I always tear sheets out of watercolor bait books and give them to my daughter and let her use her watercolors beside me while I color or something like that. Um, as well as now that I have all those Tombows and Neo Color 2s and things like that, if I want to, instead of using them in a coloring book, kind of sketch something or just play with them, I have some watercolor paper. Um, uh, and then I have tracing paper for, and I know a lot of you guys may use this. That's something that I drew and then I, I traced it on my sketchbook. Um, I'm getting ready to put this onto a canvas to paint it. Um, so a lot of you guys use these in between your pages to prevent smudging. But like I said, I just spray them with workable fixative. Um, so I really just got this for, for the purpose of tracing and transferring onto canvases. Um, to paint. So that was why I got that. Um, and then this is one that I've had for an ancient of time. This is why I got the other one actually because there's only there's only two sheets left in here. Um, this is the Master's Touch watercolor pad. This is I think Hobby Lobby's brand um, Master's Touch. But yeah, like I said, there's only two pages left. Um, 140 pound, 300. GM 9 by 12 599 um, so just some watercolor paper that's what I was letting my daughter rip pages out of to paint with um, that's why I needed another one so something else that I have here is a simply Bristol 9 by 12 from Ross for 299 um, like I said if I see any kind of paper pads like this at Ross that I've not tried I always usually try to snag them. Don't look, don't laugh, don't look. <laughs> this was my first attempt at um, playing with markers and that's really why I just got this pad because this paper is super, super smooth. Like, like almost like no texture at all, which is why I thought it would be really good to get for $3 just to practice blending my markers and things on. So definitely obviously need some more practice. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Simply, I think that's Walmart's brand. Um, and I think two more. Yeah, just two more. So, um, this is obviously good for all those bright neon gel pens and, and bright metallic-y paints and things that we have to swatch, um, to swatch on and things like that. That's why I have this. Um, but this is black drawing paper. Um, 20 sheets, 300 GM, obviously probably like a 9 by 12 but this is super, super thick. This did come from Hobby Lobby, and I think they s actually still do sell this one occasionally um, when it's not off the shelves. But anyways, yeah. So I have that for swatching and things. Um, this is another one that I got, I think... I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby. It could have honestly been on sale from the office store. I don't remember because I've had it on my shelf for a hot minute. But this is Canson Fanboy Illustration Paper. Um, 9 by 12, 150 pounds, 250 GM. Um, so again, this is also some thick kind of texture. You can see the texture even um paper that i have again for and i think i have actually uh i have cut this down to fit in my printer and printed pdfs on this paper um because i wanted to see if that would work um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go because that is all of my supplies and if you've sat through every single part thank you so much i appreciate you i am so sorry about all of the rambling and the out of breath and all the stuff that has gone horribly wrong with me. But I am 36 weeks pregnant and it's really hard for me to do things. But I am still trying. So 
patience, patience with me, guys, please, 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 please. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you did enjoy watching me show you all of my coloring related things. Um, and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more coloring related videos. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye.